Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. What I'm going to do today is go through and I'm going to I read a paper that I wrote recently and then when I get done I'll do a little expanding on it of what I didn't do in the paper. And this is in reference to a, a program that has come to my awareness recently that has twisted the truth, which is what really what all the programs do. Most of them are not so much outright lies, but they're taking a truth and they twist it, and which is why a lot of people buy into them because you have to have an element of truth in there for people, for the, the spirit aspect them to even start to buy into it. The paper was called, Can We Raise Our Vibration? And Do We Have To? The idea we must raise our vibration to ascend or improve ourselves is another truth that has been twisted and why many people get frustrated thinking and trying to do just that. Thinking that we have to and can raise a vibration as our physical self indicates that we think we are real, which again is another illusion. Remember, the body is an energetic overlay of our spirit self. It's a vibration translated. Also, it indicates that we're somehow less than everything else, that we're limited and or not connected to everything already, which again is another, another false statement in the fact that we are connected to everything already. We are everything already, including all the vibrations, all the different dimensions, realities, and so on that we could ever experience, we are already a part of them. We are already connected to them. So our vibration is already part of it in tune. Now, I, I talk about some of that in my last book, the, We Are the Real Body Snatchers, where I go into the idea about the, the body being an energetic overlay and a little bit about vibrations in there. So the truth is, we're already connected to and a part of every vibration that is. We're already one with every reality, every vibration that we can ever experience. See, so what happens as we remember awaken, as some will like to say, is our brain, which is a translator and a restrictor of the realities we can experience, changes the vibrations it can translate, thus changes our reality. That's what some would say would be increasing our vibration, but it really isn't increasing our vibration. Um, in, in the books I talk about, <clears throat> excuse me, especially in the last book, I talk about our brain. Uh, I talk about the brain, the heart, and the body, what they really are, and how the brain is our translator and receiver, that it takes vibrations that are within the torsion field around us, and it translates the vibrations that we are able to understand, which is based upon our default programming and our belief system that we have either accepted or been brainwashed with as we come in. Uh, for those of you who don't understand, the reality around you is a torsion field. And within that torsion field is every vibration that you could experience. And the only thing that keeps you from experience all those different vibrations is the fact that your beliefs, the default programming that you bought into, doesn't allow your brain to translate those other vibrations. So as I talked about in the book, when you change your beliefs, to become a knowing when you open yourself up to other possibilities that anything is possible. It allows your brain to be able to translate more of the vibrations around you from that torsion field. Thus, you will think that you have increased your vibration or that you are doing something different when in reality, they are all there to begin with. So think of it this way. You think of the brain when we enter this limited reality. And it's limited because we've chosen to accept that. And as I said, the brain limits how many, what vibrations we can translate based upon our belief systems as a radio that can only get a limited number of stations until we remember, until we remember who and what we are. Those would be what I mentioned before, the default programming of this matrix, our beliefs. Everything we buy into limits what we can translate. When we remember and understand who we are, and what we are and what reality is, we start changing our pre-programmed and accepted matrix beliefs. Changing our beliefs allows our brain the ability to then translate more of the vibrations around us, thus changing our reality. So instead of thinking about you're raising your vibration and you're being able to go, make yourself be able to go do it more, essentially what happens is when you start to understand who and what you are, understand what reality is, 
and your brain is able to translate more vibrations. It's very similar to taking the, the blinders off a horse. It's not that the horse changes at all. What changes is what the horse is able to see around it, what it's able to translate. So for us, as we start to awaken, as we become to under, start to understand who and what we are and what reality is, we're then able to translate other vibrations that are already around us. So it's like taking the blinders off, like seeing through the veil, however you want to phrase it. But that is the only way that you're going to be able to change your reality uh, is by doing it. You're not actually changing your vibration. The vibration of your spirit self is what it is, and it is already everything, is already connected to everything. How could you be connected, be interdimensional being? How could you be connected to other re everything else if you're not already of those vibrations at some on some point? Now, we're not here physically because, as I mentioned, we are, we've accepted the default programming when we came here. Uh, look at it like looking through a, like a mask with a small eye hole. That's, that's what we've accepted here to be able to like a horse with the blinders, as I mentioned. And as we awaken, those holes get bigger. We get to see more of what's really already around us. Our vibration never changes. And again, I go a lot deeper into that in the, in the second book, um, Who Are the Real Body Snatchers? Our vibration never changes. The only thing that ever changes is how much of the reality around us, the vibrations, we can translate. So move past that concept um, of having to worry about trying to change your vibration and do all these different techniques and things that are going to help you do that. They're not going to change your vibration. If you want to change your vibration, ascent not your vibration. If you want to change how you can perceive your reality, what your reality is, understand who and what you are. Understand what reality is. And when you do that, you'll open up that whole bigger. You'll take the blinders off the horse. Thus, your reality around you will change. But again, as I said, it's not your vibration is not changing. But you're opening yourself up to more, being able to translate more red, like putting more stations on a radio so that you can get more and more of those stations. So hope that made sense. Thank you.